Your engine's pistons are the heart of your car, literally. They move up and down thousands of times per minute, transforming fuel into power. But when pistons fail, it's catastrophic. You're not talking about a minor fix. You're talking about major engine damage, expensive rebuilds, and even total engine replacement. In today's video, we're diving into the top seven causes of piston failure in car engines. These are real-world issues that mechanics see every day in the shop. Some are caused by poor maintenance. Others are hidden problems that slowly destroy your engine over time. But once you know what causes piston damage, you'll be one giant step closer to preventing it. Let's break it down. Cause number one, detonation, the silent piston killer. Detonation, also known as engine knock, is one of the most common and most destructive causes of piston failure. It happens when the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder explodes before it should. This causes a violent spike in pressure that slams against the top of the piston, creating abnormal stress and heat. Over time, this pressure leads to piston crown erosion, cracks, and even total failure. You'll usually hear detonation as a metallic pinging or knocking sound, especially under load. It's more common in turbocharged engines or when drivers use low-octane fuel in high-compression engines. Expert tip, if you hear knock, don't ignore it. Check for incorrect ignition timing, overheating, lean air fuel mixtures, or carbon buildup, all of which can trigger detonation. Using the correct octane fuel and keeping the cooling system in good shape can prevent this silent killer. Cause number two, overheating, the enemy of metal. When an engine overheats, everything inside suffers. Pistons in particular are highly vulnerable to extreme heat. They expand rapidly and can scuff or seize inside the cylinder walls, causing severe scoring and loss of compression. In extreme cases, the piston can melt or deform, especially the crown or ring lands. Common causes of overheating include low coolant, a failed thermostat, a bad water pump, a clogged radiator, or a malfunctioning fan. Mechanics Insight We often see pistons fail from overheating when the driver ignores the temperature gauge or continues driving after losing coolant. If your engine overheats, shut it off immediately. Don't risk piston damage trying to just make it home. Cause number three, poor lubrication. The fast track to seizure. Pistons need a consistent film of oil to glide smoothly inside the cylinder. Without proper lubrication, friction builds, temperatures soar, and metal starts welding itself together. The result, scuffed piston skirts, cracked rings, and eventually full-blown piston seizure. Low oil levels, dirty oil, or clogged oil passages are the usual suspects. It's not just about oil quantity. Oil quality and flow are just as critical. Thin, worn-out oil breaks down under heat, while thick sludge can block vital oil pathways. Expert recommendation, follow the manufacturer's oil change intervals. Use the right oil viscosity for your engine and always keep an eye on the oil level. If you lose lubrication, piston failure is just a matter of time. Cause number four, incorrect air fuel mixture, running too lean. When the air fuel mixture is too lean, meaning there's too much air and not enough fuel, it causes dangerously high combustion temperatures. This excess heat punishes the pistons, causing them to overheat, crack, or burn holes straight through the crown. Modern engines rely on sensors and ECUs to keep the mixture balanced, but a faulty oxygen sensor, failing MAF sensor, vacuum leak, or clogged fuel injector can all result in a lean condition. Mechanics advice. If your engine feels weak, hesitates under load, or throws a check engine light with lean codes, like P0171, take it seriously, Running lean may save gas, but it'll destroy pistons faster than you think. Cause number five, foreign object damage, FOD in the cylinder. You'd be shocked at what mechanics find inside engine cylinders. Broken spark plug tips, bits of valve material, or even small nuts and bolts can enter the combustion chamber. When they do, they bounce around violently, smashing into the piston crown with every stroke. This leads to pitting, cracking, or full-on piston destruction. The most common cause is valve failure. When a valve drops or breaks off and gets trapped between the piston and the cylinder head, the impact is usually enough to crack the piston and destroy the cylinder head at the same time. Real world example, one mechanic recalled a customer who installed the wrong spark plugs. The tips broke off and went straight into the cylinder. The engine was totaled within minutes. Always double check part compatibility and torque specs. Cause number six, Poor quality pistons or incorrect installation. 
Sometimes the root cause isn't the engine, it's the part. Cheap aftermarket pistons made from low-grade aluminum or with poor manufacturing tolerances can fail prematurely. They may expand unevenly, crack under pressure, or have weak ring lands that break off during normal use. Likewise, incorrect installation during an engine rebuild, such as poor ring gap spacing, improper piston-to-wall clearance, or failure to align piston orientation, can lead to rapid wear or failure. Mechanics Tip if you're rebuilding an engine, don't cheap out on pistons. Use OE or high-quality forged parts from a trusted brand. And if you're not confident doing it yourself, let a professional machine shop handle the measurements and installation. Cause number seven, pre-ignition, the deadlier twin of detonation. Pre-ignition is often confused with detonation, but they're different beasts. While detonation is uncontrolled combustion after the spark, pre-ignition happens when the fuel air mix ignites before the spark plug even fires. This is often caused by a glowing hotspot, such as a carbon deposit or overheated spark plug tip, lighting the mix too early. The result? The piston is forced downward while it's still coming up. That violent clash of forces generates extreme pressure and heat, often enough to crack piston crowns or destroy connecting rods. Signs of pre-ignition include severe knocking, loss of power, and rapid engine overheating. Unlike detonation which can be managed, pre-ignition can destroy an engine in seconds. Expert insight, always use the correct spark plugs, maintain your cooling system, and keep combustion chambers clean. Don't let carbon deposits accumulate. They can turn into red-hot ignition sources. Conclusion, final thoughts. Piston failure is one of the worst things that can happen to your engine, and it doesn't always give you a warning. That's why prevention is everything. Here's a quick recap of what to look out for. Detonation. Listen for knock. Use the correct octane and watch your timing. Overheating. Maintain your cooling system and shut the engine off at the first sign of trouble. Poor lubrication. Change oil regularly, check levels, and use the right viscosity. Lean mixture. Fix fuel delivery and sensor issues immediately. Foreign object damage. Avoid improper repairs and protect your intake system. Low quality pistons stoke bad installation. Use reputable parts and professional assembly. Pre-ignition. Control temperatures. Keep combustion chambers clean and avoid carbon buildup. Pistons may be tough, but they're not invincible. With the right care, they'll last for hundreds of thousands of miles. But ignore these warning signs, and you'll be shopping for a new engine before you know it. If this video helped you understand what really causes piston failure, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with other car lovers or DIYers who want to keep their engines running strong. Thanks for watching, and remember, treat your pistons right, and your engine will return the favor.